Hi guys, today I would like to tell you some things about this new monitor you see me unboxing on the video. This is the LG Ultra Gear 32GP850 IPS High Refresion Rate <laughs> Monitors. <laughs> Sorry for my bad English. Uh, there are uh, already a couple of videos on this monitor on YouTube. You can watch them if you like to know more technical stuff or how the color cal calibration and stuff is. But here you can see how a normal guy unboxing it and I will like to tell you about my consumer experience from someone who just wanted this monitor and bought it. So uh, the monitor itself is a very good monitor. It costs about 400 euros. I don't know, it's about the same in dollars. About four or five or something. It is not expensive, but it's not cheap either. It's 32 inch, so it's good. And it's IPS high refresh rating monitor with 165 and with overclock, I think uh, it goes up to 180. And in this place, I would like to say the difference from my previous monitor, I got a 144 VA panel. Uh, in terms of refresh rating, it's not visible. The difference between 144 and 165 is not visible. I don't know how it is with the overclock with 180, 40 more FPS, maybe is a bigger difference, but there is no no reason for it because uh, I don't have any games that I can play at 2K at 180. Uh, and I got an Radeon RX 6800XE graphic card, so it is a potent graphic card, but most of the games are something about uh, between 80 to 120, maybe 140 frames. Uh, the build quality of this monitor is very nice. It's mostly plastic, but it's good quality plastic. The stand is very nice. You can uh, adjust the height uh, and um, I think you can rotate it vertically. I don't know when someone has a live stream, you can see your chat there, but it's not important for me. So, yes, um, the other thing why I wanted to have this uh, IPS monitor is because I got an ultra wide uh, VA panel with. Uh, I think 144 frames and four milliseconds response times and. The difference is between IPS and VA, there are a bunch of technical videos, but in in all honesty, the difference is not that much. IPS has better color, but if you have dark scenes, uh, then the contrast ratio of a VA panel and better blacks are uh, way more better than better color from IPS. So you don't see the difference in the dark, but, but you see the difference in the dark, but the VA panel looks in the dark better than the IPS, and the IPS looks better in uh, daylight gameplays or videos that are well lit. I'm gonna put two pre-recorded videos from Resident Evil 4 Remake on the end of this uh, video, so you can see the more colorful and Better dark is the VA panel and the, some kind of washed out colors are the IPS panel. But the dark is not that bad, you get used to it, the dark levels on IPS. Uh, when you switch from a VA or OLED or something <laughs> to an IPS, you will notice it, but about a week later you don't gonna notice it because you get used to it, you rock it your eyes get used to it. The biggest problem for me was with the VA panel was the response time and the ghosting. I will put a, a small test video uh, in this video. After the unboxing, well, you can see with the UFO test the smearing from the ghosting. One video is 
from the VA panel you see clear black shadow behind behind the UFO and from the IPS you see nothing. This is a very good IPS panel from LG. And this mirroring you will notice it when you play. When you play with this mirroring there is a noticeable difference because the IPS panel without this mirroring and ghosting feels way smoother and the gameplay experience is way smoother. Other thing why I like the IPS panel better is the 16 to 9 ratio. The 21 to 9 is way cinematic and is great for playing video games, but it's uh, not uh, not supported of many games and you will have problems with that. Here you see the smearing from the UFO behind, from the VA panel, what I was talking about, and then you will see the IPS panel without any smearing. This is the biggest issue with the VA panel. So if you like clear, responsive, smooth gameplay, then get the IPS, get this monitor. It's a very good one. It's not the cheapest one, but yeah, at 32 inches with high refresh rate, you won't get any better. Uh, and the aesthetics are very nice. Yes, here you can see clearly the difference. So I hope this video helped you somehow out and I would like to make more, maybe later some professional <laughs> ones without me talking just into the micro. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice day. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down on the video. I would love to answer them.